This is video that I found in my archives from a flight that we done in 2014 when we flew to Cedar Key. We were three trikes with me, Pat and Wesson Marsha and we took off from Zephyr Hills and we were flying to Cedar Key. Pat and I took off together and I'm keeping an eye on him as we are taking off. Now that morning it was quite foggy but we felt like it's fairly localized and decided to take off. And then as we were climbing out we reached the level of the fog but we kept on going because we felt it's going to be fine because we're going up north it was still early and the fog will burn off. As you can see now we're getting above the fog and to our surprise it was not localized and as far as we can see there was a fog layer that eventually became like a cloud layer. At that point we decided to just keep on going because at some stage it will clear up and if need be we can land at Crystal River which is like the halfway point. We had enough fuel and just kept on going. As we were flying along I was not too excited because I could still see the ground through holes in these clouds that were laying out there like holes of cotton. So as we went further on, we eventually got to Crystal River and no more clouds. I don't know on the video if you can see Pat and Wes, uh, Marsha was with Wes in the Rebo and he was always up front because he had a stronger trike than, than me with my 582. Now, in the distance is see the key. See the key is laying right there underneath that cloud base. It's more like a low low fog, but obviously it's just cloud. I had to keep my eyes st strained on Pat in front of me so as not to lose him. But we had radio contact, and we said well, that looks fine. He can see on the GPS where the runway is, although he couldn't see the runway. He was just flying blindly on the, uh, the app on his trike where he can see where the runway is. So he took a downwind guess and flew on the downwind. And as soon as he saw a hole, he took the hole and went through and let us know there is a hole. But since I cannot see anything, I'm just trying to see where Pat's flying and if I can see if he's going to dive through a hole somewhere. But I lost him, but I kept my eye on the spot where I think I saw him the last time. So I was slowly cutting on the power and then at this point just basically gliding down because at this time I think we were around about uh, two and a half three thousand feet and I'm just kind of like gliding to find the hole and then on my left I could see the hole and I could faintly see the number on the threshold and at that point I just stuck my nose down and dove for the runway
to my relief I see that I'm gonna make it but I'm just coming in with no power and all I'm thinking is made it I just want to get this thing on the ground and as I'm landing you can see that uh, on the right hand side is Wes and Marsha sitting there videotaping my coming in and on the left hand side is Pat waiting for me to come in as well obviously they pulled off the runway and as you can see the fog was quite low and it was even foggy on the runway itself taxi back to where we could park and the taxi driver from Cedar Key was already there waiting for us because they keep an ear on the radio and can hear when there's airplanes coming in. Now this is a view from Marsha who took this video and you can see Pat just all of a sudden appeared. He came in first landing and then she had to search for where I am and just like that I appeared right out of the fog and I was just happy to dump this thing onto the runway after we had lunch and the fog and the clouds cleared and then headed back to the airport. Everything cleared up. The sun was out. Fired up. And now heading back to Zephyr Hills. The distance is approximately 85 miles and we had to fly over quite some crappy terrain and marshlands and I was looking down thinking oh boy I hope I don't go down over here because I would never get this trike out of the mud but all in all we came back it was a good experience and since I found this video I thought I need to keep it to show it to my grandkids one day And you can see I, I can make a good landing if I have to. Okay, thank you for watching.